Let's look at the data sheet. When reading a data sheet, it's important to have a goal or a purpose for reading it. And so this is our switch that we're going to use as our context sensor. And reading a data sheet might be intimidating if you don't know what you're looking for. So define your goal clearly. And in this case, we said we just want to find out how the pins on the switch work. Yes. So there's our switch. So let's see if we can find where the pins are. All right, we're scrolling down slowly, looking for a picture which will show the input and output. All right, here we go. Keep looking. Going slowly, we'll find it. There's a lot of data in here, so now let's look. I see some circuits now. All right, here we are. Here's a switch that looks like our system. Let's zoom in here and see that you notice that the switch physically is square. But if you look at it from the pins, we can see that the pins form more of a rectangle shape. And by looking at the data sheet, I can see that the pins that are far from each other are actually internally connected. And the pins that are close to each other are the contact switches, which will be the switch. So when I wire it up, I'm going to wire it here to these two pins.